Hey friends, thanks for joining me. Today's practice is uh, all about the core. So we're working all around the core, not just what we normally think of in the abdominals, but we'll also be working into the sides of the body and the low back, um, a little bit in between the shoulder blades as well. So we want a well-rounded core practice today. Um, and this is all about strengthening the core. This is not about glamour muscles on the core, right? That gets into more of um, dietary restrictions. Um, this is just about strength in the core. Um, and so as we move through the practice, I really want you as much as you can, I know there's a lot going on during yoga, but as much as you can, I want you to focus on your posture. Um, our core is instrumental in supporting good posture. Um, so that's really our goal with this practice today. It is a dynamic practice. Um, so you may need to modify a lot or a little bit or here and there. If you get tired and out of breath, please take it a step down. Um, you can always work up to the higher levels. So prop wise today, I won't be using a block, um, but if you would like a block or again, always an option to grab a stack books. It works just fine. Um, uh, we, I won't be using one, but um, again, I want you to set yourself up for success because this is going to be a rather challenging practice. A folded blanket or towel. Um, if you are on a, a carpeted floor, I'm going to show you um, an option for you um, because we will need a surface that you can slide on. Um, and then just a strap, a scarf, your dog's lead, anything you can use uh, to give a little bit more reach to your arms. So before we get started, I want you to show, I want to go ahead and show you and break down for you the move where we'll be sliding across the floor and the modification um, if you are on a carpeted floor. If you have the option to getting on a slight sliding floor, it's just going to make the flow of this practice a little bit better for you. Um, Sorry about that, <laughs> but uh, usually when we practice yoga, it is on a harder floor. Um, but good news, if you're on a carpeted floor, when we get to some of the trickier balance poses, um, you will be challenged more than those of us on a flat floor. So that's a little give and take. Um, so for the sliding move, just because once we get going, I want to—I really want to keep the energy up, uh, keep the power going, and not really lose momentum once we get into the flow of this. We'll save that for the end when we cool down. Um, <clears throat> so you'll have your blanket. Um, it'll be at the back of your mat. Um, once we get going, due to space constraints in my house, you won't be able to see me do this move. Again, why I want to show it to you now. Um, so you'll put the blanket at the back of your mat. And your first option here is to stay on your knees. Hands stay underneath the shoulders. And as you inhale, you'll press the knees out to your modified plank. And you'll exhale, keeping the legs straight, using the muscles of the lower abdominal and hip flexors, pull the knees back in. Right? So that's your modified version if you're sliding. <clears throat> the full version will be to stand on the blanket. Again, wrists underneath the shoulders. As you inhale, you'll press the blanket out, coming into your plank pose. And then keeping the legs straight, using the core, pull those legs back in. So this is a really intense stretch. Um, it will get really deep into the hip flexors and lower abdominals. It's great if you have um, arm balances or inversions as your goal, one of your goals in your practice. Um, if you are on a carpeted surface and are unable to slide, this will be your modification. You'll come into a boat pose, and as you inhale, you'll lower down halfway, and as you exhale, straight legs as much as you can, you'll pull everything back to center. So now that we're all on the same page, go ahead and grab your, plop, your uh, props, fold your blanket, make sure it's at the back of your mat, and then we'll all meet seated on our mats, legs out in front. So I just want to start bringing some movement um, and some action into the core. 
but again, focusing on posture. So legs are straight out in front of you. If you're tight in your hamstrings, your knees can be bent um, as long as you're feeling active legs here. Heels are pressing away from you. Sit up nice and tall, bring the arms out wide. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull the navel to the spine, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to center, lengthening on every inhale. Exhale and twist. Inhale to center. And exhale, twist. Two more on each side. Inhale to center, navel to spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale to center, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, come back to center. Release the arms. Bend the knees and roll down onto your back. So you want your ankles underneath the knees, depending on your body proportions. Maybe you can touch the heels. Maybe you can't. Um, most importantly, you just want to make sure those ankles are under the knees. So getting right into it, tuck the shoulder blades onto the back. Make sure your knees are about a fist and a half distance apart, so inner hip width here. Tuck the tailbone, curl the hips. Curl the tailbone, lift the hips. <laughs> Draw the inner thighs together. And then inhale, reach that left leg as straight up as you can. And then exhale, point those toes so the knees come in line. Inhale, lift that left leg back up. Exhale, lower the hips to a hover. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, point the toes forward. Inhale, lift the toes up. Exhale, hips to a hover. Inhale, hips back up. Two more times, straighten the leg, knees in line. Lift the leg back up. Hips lower to a hover. Hips lift up last time. Point the toes forward. Lift the toes up. Hips come to a hover. Hips lift back up. Bend that left knee. Bring the foot to the mat. And tuck the tailbone. Lower the hips down. So from here, go ahead and straighten the legs. Roll over onto the left side. So you can come up onto your elbow here. I like to rest down, bringing my head into my hands. Your right arm is here to stabilize you. Go ahead and lift that right leg up so that it's in line with the hip, not higher than the hip, but right in line with the hip. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift the left leg up to meet the right and tuck. Inhale, release. Exhale, tuck. And release. Tuck. And release. Tap and release. Tap the left foot up and hold, pulling the navel towards the spine. You should really feel this along the outside of that right body. Keep the feet active so you can do a point a Barbie feet with the toes flexed. You can flex the feet or you can point the feet wherever you feel the stretch. Another deep breath in. And then we'll lift both legs. So. Deep breath in, full breath out. Inhale, tap the legs down. Exhale, lift both legs. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Tap the feet down. Lift the feet up. Two more. Tap the feet down. Lift the feet up. Tap the feet down. Lift the feet up and hold. And just we're going to make some scissors with the feet. So inhale, open the legs out wide, keeping them lifted off the ground. Exhale and switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Two more. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Last time, switch the legs. And one more. Bring both feet together. 
lift a little bit higher, and then lower both feet down. From here, we'll roll onto the belly. So for this first one, you'll have arms and legs extended. You're looking down, straight underneath your nose. And just like we're swimming, you're going to lift the right arm and the left leg. And then exhale, switch. And switch. And switch. Switch again. Switch. Inhaling. And exhaling. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Last time on each side, lift. And lift. Lift everything up. Exhale, lower down. And you'll make your way back to your back. Preparing for the other side. So that right body, right side body, you should already be feeling quite a bit of heat there. Setting ourselves up, ankles underneath the knees. Tuck the shoulder blades on the back. As you inhale, tuck tailbone, lift hips up. This time your right leg extends up towards the ceiling, full breath in. Exhale, knees come in line. Inhale, lift the leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hips to a hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, point the toes forward. Toes back up to the ceiling. And lower down to a hover. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Toes point forward. Toes reach up to the ceiling, hips to a hover. Last time, hips lift up, toes point forward, toes lift up, <clears throat> hips to a hover, hips lift, bend the right knee, right foot to the mat, gently lower the hips down. And then we'll make our way onto the other side. So coming onto your right side, you can just roll over. Um, I don't want to have my back to you this early in the class. Head in your hands. You'll start by lifting that left leg up in line with the shoulder. Both feet are active, toes reaching long. Deep breath in. Exhale, right foot to meet the left. And inhale, lower. Exhale, tap the toes. And release. Tap the toes. And release. Two more times. Tap the toes. And release. Tap the toes. And release. Bring both feet together. <laughs> Keep the legs lifted, navel towards the spine. Hold here. So find that side body strength. And then back up. Pull the navel towards the spine. Find your balance here. Using that left arm to support you. And then we'll lower both legs down, lifting both legs five times. At inhale here. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Three. Release. Lift four. Release. Lift five and hold. And again, we'll come into those scissors. So inhale, open out wide. And exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Two more on each side. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Last time, switch. And switch. Bring both feet together. Lift the legs a little bit more if you can. And then release. Making our way onto our stomachs. This time, working a little bit more into the mid-back here. You'll bring your arms out in line with your shoulders. Uh, arms at a 90 degree angle, so elbows in line with shoulders, wrists in line with elbows. Hold on, Lennon. And as you inhale, pull the chest forward, lift up, squeeze the elbows towards the mid back. 
and exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen, squeeze towards the mid back. And exhale, release. Inhale, lift, squeeze everything towards the middle. And release two more times. Inhale, pull the chest forward, squeeze. And release. Last time. Lift the chest, pull the shoulders together. And release down. And once again, you'll make your way onto your back. London, honey. So coming back into that bridge pose, your ankles are underneath the knees. So just a little bit working both sides of the body at the same time, just to balance out that single side work. Ankles underneath the knees, shoulders tuck onto the back, deep breath in, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips. And then as you exhale, you'll lower the hips down and roll up into your boat pose. Knees can be bent for this one. Exhale, roll down, feet to the mat. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips. Exhale, hips lower back down. Inhale, bring everything up. Exhale, lower back down. Feet to the mat. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll up both toes. And lower back. Down. Two more times. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll up and lift. And exhale, lower down. Last time. Inhale, lift those hips up. And lower back down. Tuck everything towards the center. Roll up both pose. And then this time you'll cross your ankles. Roll over onto hands and knees. So here, before we get super, super, super moving, I just want to bring a little bit more movement to the back. <clears throat> so a few cat and cow here. Exhale, round the back up towards the ceiling, tuck the chin if you want to keep into those that core, lift the knees. And then inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart forward, lift up. Exhale, round the back, press the floor away, maybe the knees come to hover. And release. Three more times, pressing the floor away, rounding the back. And release. And again, tucking, rounding, pressing the floor away. And then reversing that motion. So from here, walk the hands slightly in front of the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. <clears throat> so just three deep breaths here, full inhale and a full exhale. Deep breath in, full breath out. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, you'll walk the hands back towards the feet. You'll step the feet onto your blanket, so setting up for these pushbacks. We'll do them three times, so either feet on the blanket or knees on the blanket. Deep breath in, press the feet or knees away. Exhale, use the hip flexors and the lower abdominals, bring the legs back. Inhale, press away. <laughs> I don't need your help. Exhale, bring it back. One more time, press the feet away. And bring the feet back up. So from here, London sweetie, on the couch. Walk the feet back onto the mat. You'll walk forward to your downward face, to your plank. Lower the right arm down to the mat. Lower the left elbow down to the mat. Walk the feet in towards the hips, dolphin pose. Three deep breaths. Pull the navel towards the spine. Press the floor away from you with the elbows. Inhale, walk back to your forearm plank. <clears throat> You'll use the right arm to press yourself up to your full plank. 
and then the left. Lift the hips downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg behind you. Exhale, draw the knee towards the nose as you pull forward to plank, round the back. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, round the back, knee to nose, pull forward to plank. Inhale, up and back. One more time. Exhale, round the back, knee to nose, pull forward to plank. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Strong in that back leg, or you can lower the knee to the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, get strong in that right foot. You're stepping forward to chair. So using that core strength here, draw the left knee forward gracefully, and then left foot meets the right chair pose. Sit the hips down low, full breath in. Exhale, rock to the toes, straighten the legs, dive forward. Inhale, bend the knees, sit the hips low. Exhale, lift up onto the toes, straighten the legs, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you dive. One more time, lower the feet down, lift the arms up. Exhale, onto the toes, straighten the legs, dive forward, squeeze the elbows together. Inhale, bend the knees, sit back down, chair pose, pull the navel towards the spine. Another deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold back on. Inhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat. As you exhale, lift your left leg up. Three-legged dog moving to the other side. Full inhale. Exhale, knee to nose as you round forward to your plank. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, with control, knee to nose, forward to plank. Inhale, up and back. Last time, knee to nose, round forward to plank. Step that foot between the hands. Again, option to lower down your back knee as you reach up into high or low lunge. To find stability here, squeeze the inner thighs together, draw the navel in and up, and press through the inside edge of that left foot. Another deep breath in. On your next inhale, get strong in that left leg. With control, we're stepping forward once again to that chair pose. Sit hips, sit low, full breath in. Exhale, rock onto the toes. Straighten the legs, squeeze the elbows, and dive. Bend the knees, sit back down, chair. Exhale, rock forward and dive. Inhale, sit low. Last time, come up onto the toes, straighten those legs, dive forward, squeeze the elbows together. Bend the knees, sit down even lower this time. Exhale. Fold forward over the legs. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, step your left foot back. And exhale, step your right foot back. Plank position. <clears throat> Inhale here. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet. Feet or knees come onto the blanket. Inhale, press the blanket away. Plank. Using the lower abdominals, bring the legs back. And press it away. Bend it. And bring it back. One more time. Use the core. Press that blanket away from you. <laughs> and bring the blanket back. From here, 
you'll bring the feet back to the mat, walk out to your plank pose. This time, you lower down with the left elbow first, then the right. Feet walk in, hips lift, dolphin pose. Three breaths, inhale and exhale. Deep breath in, exhale two. One more full inhale and a full exhale. Inhale, walk the feet back out to your forearm plank. Left arm presses up first, then into the right. Hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhale, reach that right leg behind you. Exhale, knee the nose round the back. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Look forward, step forward. <clears throat> and if you can, this time we'll all come in to a high lunge, arms reach up overhead. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, get strong in that right foot. Press firmly through the inside edge. This time as we step forward, we're going to bring that left knee up into the chest. And then we're going to fold as we exhale, extend the left leg behind you. Inhale, bring the knee back up. Exhale, press the heel out and fold. Inhale, bring the knee back up. Exhale, press the leg out and fold. Bring that left knee back up to center, squeeze it into the chest. Bend the right knee. Left foot meets the right, chair pose. Arms reach up overhead. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. And exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat. Exhale, step, extend the left leg behind you, three-legged dog. Full breath in. Exhale, round the back, knee to nose as you pull forward to a plank. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, round the back, knee to nose, pull forward to plank. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, round the back, knee to nose, pull forward to plank, step the left foot forward, squeeze the inner thighs together, arms reach up overhead. Deep breath in, full breath out. Strong in that left foot, deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring that right knee up into the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, press that right foot behind you, coming into your warrior three. Exhale, come back to center, draw the knee into the chest. <laughs> and inhale, press out. Last time, draw the knee to the chest. And press the leg out. Draw the knee back into the chest, lift it up. Squeeze it into the chest as you bend the left knee. Right knee meets the left, sit down low, chair pose. Deep breath in, full breath out. Inhale, and exhale. One more deep breath in, exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. One more time. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back. Step the right foot back. Plank pose. Full breath in here. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing down. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. 
Exhale, walk the feet, hands back towards the feet. Bringing the feet onto your blanket. Wrists underneath the shoulders, strong core. Inhale, press the blanket away from you. And then pull the blanket back to center. Press the blanket away. Pull back to center. One more time, press the blanket away. Exhale, pull it back to center. Feet come to the mat. Walk the hands forward, plank pose. Right elbow comes down to the mat. And then your left. Feet walk in, hips lift, dolphin pose. This time, draw the navel towards the spine. And as you exhale, you'll rock forward to the tippy toes, maybe rolling over the toes. And then inhale, release. Rock forward, maybe you roll over the toes, relax the head, and release. One more time, rock forward, and release. Walk the arms back out to your forearm plank. Right hand underneath the right shoulder, lift, and then left arm, plank. Walk the hands back towards the feet. And we'll come into those push-outs once more. Feet on the blanket. Hands underneath the shoulders. London on the couch, please. Inhale, press the blanket back. Exhale, hips lift. Straight legs. Feet on the couch, London. Inhale, press the blanket back. Exhale, hips lift up. One more time, press the blanket back. Lift the hips up. Feet come to the mat. London comes onto the couch. <laughs> Hands walk out to your plank once more. This time, left elbow down, right elbow down. Walk the feet in towards the elbows. Inhale here. Exhale, rock to the toes. Maybe you roll over the toes. Exhale, release. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, release. One more time, rock forward and release. Walk the feet back out to your forearm plank. Left arm presses up, right arm presses up. Lift the hips downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here, inhale and exhale. Deep breath in, exhale two. One more deep breath in, and a full breath out. Inhale, lift that right leg long behind you. Exhale, round the back knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, and round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round knee to nose. Plant the right foot at the front of the mat. Lift the arms up. Deep breath in, get strong through the core. So this time, as we bring the knee into the chest, shifting the weight into the right leg, you'll extend that left leg out long. So long lever here, navel to spine, deep breath in. Exhale, keeping that leg straight, tip forward, warrior three. Inhale, bring yourself back up, bringing the leg with you. And extend it back. Last time, bringing that leg with you as you rise up. Lift it a little bit higher this time. And send it back, warrior three, press out through that left heel. Three breaths here, inhale. And exhale, use all that core strength. Deep breath in. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the mat, lift that left leg up, left leg meets the right, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right foot back, exhale, left foot back, downward facing dog. Last side, inhale, lift that left leg up. 
Exhale, round the back, knee the nose, pull those lower abdominals in. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, round as you bring it forward. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale and round. Look forward between the hands. Plant that left foot. And we'll rise up to our high lunge. So you know where you're going this time. Flexibility may be a little or a lot different on this side. Don't judge yourself based on flexibility. It'll come when it comes. A lot of it is predetermined by our body shape anyway. Shift the weight into the left foot. Right knee into the chest. Straighten the right leg out. And then finding that long lever. So extend the right leg behind you as you keep it straight, folding forward. Inhale, bring everything up, lift that right leg up with you. And exhale, back. One more time. Lift everything up, lift that right leg up as high as you can. Exhale, extend it back. Warrior three, holding here, shoulder blades together, navel towards spine, inner thighs hugging in. Exhale, fold hands to the mat, lift that right leg. Exhale, left foot meets the right, right foot meets the left. Fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Step that left foot back. Step that right foot back downward from some dog. So we did a lot of outer hip stuff. Now it's time to move into uh, stretching out, balancing out the strengthening we did. So inhale that right leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the outside of that right elbow. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, right knee to the outside of that right elbow. And lift it up and back. Last time, right knee to the outside of that right elbow. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Lower the left knee down. So here, if you have a blanket, I know my, my knees can't really take the hard floor anymore. <laughs> so I like to put the blanket. We're not going to use it for those push-outs anymore. Good news. Um, so hands come down to the floor. Sink into that left hip flexor. So we use this part of the body a lot today. Now it's time to release through that side. You can stay here or you can come forward onto your elbows. If you're coming forward onto your elbows, think of length first. So you walk the hands forward. And then if this right elbow can't come all the way down, don't go down on your elbows. Come onto your stack of books or your block. Sink into those hips and breathe here. Five more breaths. Slowing down the breath, slowing down the practice. Walk the hands back in towards the body, start to lift up. From here, just bend that left knee, pull it in towards the body, stretching out the front of that leg, getting a little deeper into that left hip flexor. And then release. It might feel good here just to shift the hips back slightly. And then bend into that right knee. Walk the right foot over towards the left side of the mat. Lower down the knee and the hip. Again, if you need blocks or you need to roll your blanket up underneath this hip for support, feel free to do so. 
If you'd like to stay lifted today, that's fine. Uh, you're warmed up enough to do it. If you'd like to come into a mermaid pose, you can bend that left knee, reaching the right arm up and over. This might feel really good for that front body. But again, always an option just to fold forward. It's your practice. I want you to do what your body needs. Wherever you are, relax the head, neck, and jaw. And slowly start to release. So from here, you'll tuck those left toes, slide that right knee in just a little bit, move your blanket out of the way. Lift that left knee, step the right foot about a third of the way back. Both feet plant, both hips pull back. Make sure that both hips are square to the front of the mat so widening your stance can help with that. Bring your left hand to your block or your stack of books. Pull the chest forward like you were still in that warrior three. And then from here, reach that right arm up and twist. So getting a little bit deeper into the outside of that right hip. All that stabilizing work that your right hip did as we balanced. Getting a nice twist for the core here as well. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release the right hand down. So from here, you'll walk your hands forward. <clears throat> Step that right foot back to the left, so coming into your plank pose. And then you'll drop the hips down, untuck the toes. So you're in a lazy upward facing dog. From here, bring your left hand directly underneath your face. Your right hand stays where it is. Not a good time, baby girl. Good downward dog, though. And then you'll roll over towards that left side. So you're getting a little bit deeper here into those abdominals on the left side, stretching out the obliques. If you want more, you can look over that right shoulder. This is a lot here. Keep the legs actively reaching away from you. Two more breaths. And then inhale, press yourself back to center. London, sweetie, it's time to go into the couch, babe. Press yourself back to center. Sit the hips back, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Other side, inhale that left leg up. Exhale, left knee to the outside of that left elbow. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, bring the knee up to that left elbow. And up and back last time. Knee to the outside of that left elbow. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lower the right knee down. Again, a blanket is super nice here for the knees. If you have the flexibility to come down to the forearms, remember, walk the arms out first. Left arm down, then the right. I should say flexibility or the inclination. You don't have to go to your deepest point. You've already worked really hard today. <laughs> and then relax the head and neck, sinking into the front of that right hip.
Three more deep breaths. And slowly start to come back up onto the hands. You can bend that right knee, reach around for the ankle with the left arm, stretching a little bit deeper into the front of that leg, rotating through the spine. Set the hips back, it might feel good just to straighten out that left leg, moving into the hips a little bit. And then come forward, walk that left foot over toward the right. Lower down the knee and the hip. And again, you can fold forward, or if you'd like, you can come into your mermaid pose. Bending that left, that right leg, reaching for it with the right hand. And then maybe the left arm reaches up and over. And relax the head and neck. more deep breaths here. And then slowly release that leg. Move your blanket out of the way if it's still there. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee, and then step that left foot about a third of the way back. Both feet plant to the mat. Hips are squared towards the front of the mat. Pull the chest forward, find length. Right hand can stay underneath that right shoulder as you lift the left arm up and twist. Opening up through the shoulders, releasing that outer leg. The more you press through the inside edge of that left foot, the more you'll feel it along the IT band on the outside leg. Relax the head and neck. And breathe. One more deep breath in. And then left hand comes down. Right knee comes down. <clears throat> You'll bring the left knee back to meet the right. Find that lazy upward facing dog again. And this time, you'll bring the right hand underneath the face. So towards the midline of the body, rock over towards that right hip. Staying active, not letting the shoulder come up towards the ear, but pressing away from the floor here. And then if you'd like, option to look back over that right, that left shoulder. Strong in the legs. And then slowly press your way back to center. From here, just walk your hands back towards your knees. 
Sit your hips to your heels. Bring your hands to clasp at the base of the spine. And reach that clasp away from you, stretching out the chest and shoulders. Release the clasp, let the arms and shoulders rest down for three more breaths. And then pull yourself up just a little bit. Take that right arm, thread it through the left side of the body. Come down onto that right shoulder. So you might need to bring your knees a little wider. And stretching out through the shoulders. Maybe even feeling it in the side bodies a little bit. Inhale back to center. Directly to the left side, left arm reaches underneath the right side of the body, onto that left shoulder. And then make your way back to center, walk the hands in towards the knees, roll over onto your back. We'll finish with your favorite spinal twist. So <clears throat> rolling onto your back, you can bring your knees into the chest. You can cross one leg over the other. For me, I like to just bring one knee at a time. Whatever feels good to you. You'll bring your arms out wide and we're rocking over to the left side first. You can look over at that right hand if it feels good on your neck. And then moving back to center, straighten the right leg if you're taking this variation, bring the left knee in. And whatever twist you're taking, take it over to the right side this time. Looking over at that left hand if it's comfortable. your way back to center. Draw both knees into your chest. Anything else that feels good here to round out your practice. Um, I'm suggesting maybe a plow pose if it's in your practice, a happy baby. I think plow pose would feel really good to the body before releasing for Shavasana here just to do a little bit more to decompress the uh, energy of our practice to bring everything back in towards ourselves. So lift the hips. And let the feet come overhead. If this is too much for you, you can bring your feet onto a wall so that they're slightly lifted. And then you can use the wall for support. And then when you're ready, 
slowly lowering down. Bringing the legs out. Bringing the arms by the side. Exhaling all the breath out. Taking another deep breath in, filling the lungs up. And exhaling it out. So you went through a fairly dynamic practice today. Give yourself some time here to let the body rest, to settle, to prepare for the rest of your day. And I thank you for allowing me to be a part of your practice and in everything you do the rest of the day and the upcoming week. Be loud, be expressive, and be yourself. Namaste.